So, as promised, I'm continuing this uh, vlog slash frequently asked questions series. Today, the main focus is going to be on the road trip to Italy with Destiny Potato and our three shows. But before that, I'll answer a few questions you guys sent me really quickly. So, first question. Will Ego and Ico get a physical release? Still have no idea. I mean, that's probably the last thing I'm going to figure out. So, until then, probably some kind of a limited physical release edition. Why not? Yeah, the girl from, from the last video is actually my niece. It's not my daughter. It's my niece. It's my sister's daughter. If you didn't know, the voice of the child in the song Daydreamers, it's her. We recorded that she was three years old and yeah, this is actually her guitar. So far she, she doesn't give a damn about it. So we'll see how that turns out. Many of you were suggesting to us and um, asking about the possible collaboration between Pliny and me. And yes, of course, I mean, Pliny and I, we've been in touch for a quite some time now and we've talk, talked about a possible tour in 2016 or sometime in the future. I think we have enough aesthetical um, differ differences and similarities to, to make a good team, you know, and if the chemistry is in the right place and everything works out, I think that would be fabulous. Of course. Yeah, when will Ego and Ico be out? I'm not sure, because I've just started working with vocalists and I don't know how much time it's going to take to finish all the vocal tracks because they have their, you know, things going on. Yeah, as soon as I'm done with, you know, tracking vocals with them, I'm going to start teasing you guys. I'm not going to do it for too long because I also want to release this album pretty soon and continue working on Below 4 and New Destiny Potato. So many of you guys asked me about my equipment, the guitars that I use, the, the you know, plugins that I use, um, my creative process, songwriting uh, process and stuff like that. I think that could be actually two or three videos, separate videos. And then about the creative process, I don't have idea how, how I approach those things. I don't approach them, I just, you know, sit down and, and work, basically. But more about that in the next video or in the next few videos. Italy was amazing it was fabulous it's a beautiful country they bought me i mean i'm seriously thinking about you know maybe spending at least few years you know of my life there just learning the language enjoying the you know pasta and the wine and it's awesome i'll leave you with some footage that i made there hope i'll see you soon soon march the camera Ciao, so we have just arrived to Aosta in Italy. Ciao bella! Ciao bella! And we are playing a show tonight, a really small show for maybe 80 people, which will probably be our smallest show so far. So far. But this place is beautiful. Look at this place. <laughs> Look at this place. This is amazing! So amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we actually saw a few small but long waterfalls on the way here. It's awesome. So, we are playing a show tonight here. We are in Aosta. Alexander is just going to be sexy for the next five seconds. Good morning. It's 
beautiful day here in Aosta, Italy. Um, we have just finished our first show on the small tree show tour in Italy. It's actually pretty early in the morning right now. I woke up because I can't sleep for too long. The rest of the best crew they are still sleeping and I'll probably have to wake them up pretty soon because we have to leave in like two hours. Actually in an hour, I think, now. Without me talking too much, I'll let you enjoy the view for a few seconds and then I'll continue talking. Our first show was actually pretty awesome. I had my first gig on an amplifier ever. It was pretty cool. It was way too louder than I expected it to be, but yeah, it was you know logical. Tap dancing was actually not that hard. But it, this was a lot of fun and the show was a lot of fun. People were amazing. Every time you play in front of a new audience it's kind of strange but yeah, this was pretty cool. I'm gonna have to go and wake up the rest of the potato crew. We are going to Milano. Milano is going to be an awesome show. After Milano we have Verona. Yeah, see you guys soon. soon. <laughs> strange gig because it was a Sunday and not many people showed up but the people who showed up were fucking amazing amazing guys and and girl and girl <laughs> amazing guys and the girl it was pretty much a sausage fest questo un piccolo orgasmo tettalina 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 I wasn't able to record any updates for the Milano show, but I managed to uh, record some some parts of the gig. Do you have something to say about our Milano show? Milano, ragazzi, fucking crazy, man. Yeah, Milano show was really nice. It's actually really surprising how many people know the lyrics and how many people sing with us. And the interesting thing is that you know the lyrics better than Yaki. <laughs> I'm shit. <laughs> Good lyrics. Good lyrics. I had to come because that's fun.